<laughs> I've only gone and bloody done it. <laughs> hey, look at that! Whoa! -ho -ho. Do you like my screen? Mmm, impressive. For lots of length. It's quite stiff as well. It's got length and it's stiff. That's what she said. Darren, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, I don't know if it's just me. Could just be me. Could be paranoia. Not too sure. When I'm on the motorway, people sit like here. And then when he goes to pull out, beep at him and give him the finger and do all this. I can't see them because they're in my blind spot, which is a pain in the ass. Does that happen to you? I've had this idea for a while now, and Emma keeps saying no, 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 no. But she's witnessed the game on the motorway where people just want to be knobs. Fucking stop! You fucking idiot! So I'm going to put another camera. Um up on the side pointing down to the blind spot and probably a bit further back makes sense to me um i did get the one with a ridiculously large monitor i don't know why i've done that but there you go um this is also wireless right let's have a little bit of a look what's in the kit so you've got a camera you've got a screen camera screen you got a mountain plate You've got a cigarette lighter. You've got a mount, I'm guessing that, yeah, that's going to be for the camera. You, you've got it, and it, that's going to be the aerial for the camera. Okay, that doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, does it? Anyway, right. Um, sticky pad. You've got another 12 volt cable, which I am presuming that that will be for the camera. So, quite a lengthy amount of cable. Then you got more gubbins, uh, more gubbins, and you have a mountain plate for the scrap. <laughs> Just stand there, that can no, not even that. Right. So we need to get on the roof. We need this, and we need this. There he is, Law. The, I'm my best, Neil. the mountaineer himself. I'm back safe and sound. Now, I have just had the conversation with Will from Will's Whereabouts about wireless cameras. Um, they're not very good. Well, they don't seem to be any good anyway. He fitted one to his, and for some reason, it wouldn't connect from the back to the front of the cab. His is only a medium wheelbase. But ours is only going to be going basically on the driver's side just there probably a maximum of two meters and if it can't do that then it's going straight back to amazon first of all we need to get up on the old roof and see where we're going to mount <laughs> another camera so obviously your blind spot runs from you know, just behind your shoulder to the back of the van that's the blind spot if i can mount this say there like that which would point onto the blind spot i think it would be a winner i don't know whether there would be good enough or do a sticker there i mean that might be a better idea um i'm pretty sure that we can wire it all up on top of the van without screwing anything down by using the power bank and actually seeing before we screw it and um, plus i've got the gland there which you can poke the wire through and get the live that might be the right spot hmm right we need to get a power bank up here we need all the cables we need the screen and um, yeah everything else right i'll go get them i'll bring them up right i'm not going to use this so i'm going to cut it the reason i've split the cable is so we can then connect the camera to that cable otherwise we'd need to connect the cigarette lighter port so that you just yeah it's easier doing it this way this is only temporary don't freak out it's just a test so we connected the positive and negative to the camera and to the screen as well all you got to do now is plug it in the power bank and the whole system should work as long as they don't touch we're good right let's plug it in that's plugged in let's turn it on nothing's gone bang screen's coming on there we go the screen is on 
not in the right position but the reason we're doing this is just so we can see where is the best place to put the camera so where is going to be the best place to mount it now i'm trying to avoid getting this wi-fi aerial in shot technically i could move this to there and then mount the camera in front of it uh, i don't know i don't want it because it's, um, that's there and it's fine but if we can mount that just say there then would that give us enough of the blind spot there's the picture will it do the blind spot let's mount it properly and see but for a blind spot camera i think that would be perfect that's going there that's going to go inside we'll tackle that in a minute first of all let's get that mounted and get the cable through the glands into the van we got a boinger we got a bolt i'm going to bolt this bracket down to the van that boinger needs longer than it's the wrong boinger that can sit there and then this can go just there like that Right, that's got the camera mounted on it first. See, we need to move that forward because of this stupid aerial. So we can see on our screen where the camera is. We can then adjust it to where we need it to go. But that, I think, is all right. Let's get the cable through the van into the house. You know what I mean. Right, so we have got the cable through, the ceiling, and now, all you gotta do now is screw it back down. I remember that when we were last in here, which you can't remember what we were doing, and if my memory serves me right, we've got no spare fuses, which is really handy. So, ah, yeah, okay. But, not to worry we can still come off one of them um the light that's on the driver's side that goes on there so we can connect up to this one for the actual thing because we're not going to use both of them at the same time so there we go and even if we do as long as it's, the diffuse is raised it's got a 10 amp in it now that'll be fine we do have a lot of cable so that's a bonus right i've purposely left the wire long i haven't cut it because it's just going to go in the cupboard behind the cupboards and I've just left it long just in case we need to move at some point we don't have to extend the wire so left it long right got to get in there and connect it up right that's in there that's wired up that's done fused cable tied wired up I'm just leaving the cable in there loose I am not worried one bit about all the cables in there I know what they all are and the good thing about it is it all gets covered with this in theory now we've got the camera wired up that's all fixed and that's mounted we should be able to just plug the screen into the power bank and see what it's like now it, it's gone dark outside now pretty much night time don't know what the camera's going to be like in the night never even tested it let's plug it in and try screen's coming on i, I, I tell you what i don't know if you can see how much quality there is on that but that is pretty good now we've got to mount this bloody big thing and it's going somewhere there because there's not enough stuff in there already it's going in there i need to sit in there have a think and um a cup of tea first then negotiate life right my thinking is this plate comes with the actual kit and this gets screwed to something and then this bit slots in the back of the thing monitor um blah 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 now this piece is the bit that attaches to your window now i think if we can somehow mount this onto there that would be perfect i've just got to figure out a way of mounting this onto there I'm going to play with this and see what I can come up with.
<laughs> I've only gone and bloody done it. Hey, look at that! Whoa! -ho -ho! <laughs> I made it with myself, really am. I'm chuffed with that, really am. <sighs> Stupid. Anyway, <laughs> right. So, that. I mean, technically, yeah, it could stick out a mile on the. But it works. That's gonna go there. <laughs> what the? <that? laughs> Do you like my screen? Mmm, impressive. For lots of length. <laughs> oh, oh, shut up, Neil. Anyway, right, that is gonna sit on the front. It's quite stiff as well. <laughs> it's got length and it's stiff. Mm. That's what she said. Darren, I'm sorry. Um, that is going to go on the window screen. Um, and it's going to probably smash the window screen. Uh, anyway. Uh, and then I can be able to pull this over. And the beauty about it is with this little gubbins here, I can have that pointing at me. So I can just go, no one there. Right, let's mount it to the air. To the window screen. I've got it mounted there. <laughs> Ground control to Major Tom. Oh dear. So, anyway, right. We've got more gadgets in this cab than a jet fighter. So we've got the, the, the rear screen which is there, which to be fair, it's a load of pants compared to the other one. It's just crap, isn't it? Oh, dude, that one's great. Look at it. I am. S you can't see because of the light. Look, that's brilliant. And the, the blinds still go across as well. I've checked it. It's fine. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe do away with that one. And maybe order another camera because you can connect four cameras to this. Um. Yeah, you can connect four cameras to it. Um, also, it records. So if you did have uh, four cameras, you'd have two splits, you could have, you know, you'd have high splits, you'd have four on. Y you can do whatever you want. So I could actually technically have, if I had another one of them cameras, I can have one on reverse and one on the side, which would be great for driving. And it really would be great for driving. Um, it does give you the little lines. I like that because some of these other ones, like them on there, I can't take them off, those stupid lines. But on this one, if you wanted, you can. It was on mirrors. Now that, that just looks wrong, so. Yeah, that's better, because that's, that's how I can see. Oh, I am, the picture quality on that is fantastic. It really is. It's a lot better than our actual side CCTV cameras. It's a lot better than the reversing camera I've got. This could cost me a few quid, this, because... Hmm. It got a little bit dark last night to be carrying on filming. And it's just a bit of a pain. Because you can set lights up, but there's not like daytime, is there? Right, I'm going to show you what I've done. So what I've done is I've the live that goes into there... I've just snipped it um, before it goes to the unit and then I've brought it through to here. The live from the actual unit, that goes up to there as well and I've just basically put them both on that switch so when you turn the switch on, the screen comes on. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant colour. And when you, you compare that to the actual cameras we fitted. So that's the side cameras that we fitted. Now take a look at that picture there, which is relatively the same picture. And then compare it to that one there. It's a much better quality picture. It's more defined. It's just, it's just a better quality camera, to be honest with you. They're okay, but that kit is phenomenal. Um, they're not the cheapest. I will say that much. I'll leave links in the description below if you want to go and check them out. Um, please make sure you are seated. Now, I did say that it does record. So for it to record, in the side there, there's a little screw. When you take this off, in there, that is where you can stick an SD card. 
so that will slot right into there giving you full recording so your SD card will literally just slot into there like that and then that is in and then once you've got a card in you'll notice on the top there that there is a little red flashing light and it tell you that it is recording and um, you can go into the menu and you can then go into the recording sentence which is there and um, rewrite on or off format on or off so if we go to let's just format the card it's formatting it it's telling us there so we're going to format it for this device just in case because you never know stuff does happen right so we can come out of this um so go back to menu uh, and then we can go into all the different you can go into your parent you can go into the picture quality you can go into you know mirrored and flip and things like that uh, camera setup the system and you can go into the play button there which is that one which will then give you the media uh, I'm not actually gone into this but there we go so it's got one there <coughs> current time and everything else um, it all the time set and it does have GPS in it so it is really good for what it is so you are getting a much better system than some of the others out there in the market I do like switches and cameras and lights hmm could be a problem here couldn't it I will leave the links in the description to the FX 909TR um, that's what it says on there anyway Oi Inside you've got some explaining to do I don't know why I've got explaining to do, I've done nothing What have I done? What have you been doing for the last few days while I've been sick? Emma's been sick You haven't been looking after me, what have you been doing? I've been cleaning the van Cleaning? Yeah I've got Instagram you know, idiot Inside, come on. What, 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 what have I done? What's up there? The sky. No, on the van. Solar. What's that? What's this? Where's the mess? Uh, sort it out. Will made me do it. Right. I'll leave this one here. Links in the description.